Hi there, this is uh, Dylan Julinus. Uh, I was going for a walk and I found this lovely abandoned barn. It's, it's really a gorgeous place. It's got some machinery right behind me here. But um, I figured it's a perfect place to shoot a video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a pirate's chest with gold and all sorts of uh, goodies inside of it. You know, rubies, sapphires, diamonds, emeralds. Anyways, to make this, you are going to need two brown 260s, or mocha brown, or chocolate brown, but the same color in a five inch round. But you're also going to need two uh, 160s, one in gold and one in silver. And then you're just going to need scraps. The scraps are going to be your emeralds and your various gems. Okay, I know you got scraps. Begin with uh, one of your 260s and blow it up until you got about that much tail. That's about uh, six fingers, six fingers. Okay, give it a squeeze and a stretch and you're good to go. You're going to start off with a one inch pinch twist, maybe even a little less than an inch. Pinch twist that, and then you're going to go roughly four inches and give it a twist. Another pinch twist, now you're going to go two inches, about two inches, maybe two and a half, and then another pinch twist. Right now you're basically making a rectangle, so you just follow that format the rest of the way. So you're going to do another 4 inch, another 1 inch pinch twist, and then another 2 and a half inch bubble that connects back into this pinch twist. So let's do that real quick. Because you know, um, Pirates of the Caribbean 4 uh, on Stranger Tides is coming out, so you might get asked for this one more than you expect. So 2 and a half inch. Twist it in. So you should have this. A little rectangle with this sticking out. You're going to go about three inches on this, this one. A little bit longer than your two and a half inch down. Then you're going to make one inch pinch twist. Surprise, surprise. You're going to line this up so it goes along with the 4 inch one and you're going to make another 3 um, inch bubble. So same as this one. Pinch twist. And then another 3 inch bubble that will connect back into this pinch twist. You can pop off the rest. I dropped the balloon. Okay. It's all good. So deflate that, tie it off into your pinch twist, and you're all set with this. This is going to be part of the pirate's chest. You probably already guessed that. Take your other 260, inflate it uh, just about the same. Give it a good burp. And you want to leave about six fingers tail. I have bony fingers. Okay. So you're going to find the part where it's a rectangle, okay, which would be this part right here. You're going to find the opposite side and connect the knot to one of the uh, pinch twists. So just wrap that around there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go in three inches, the same as this one right here, three inches, pinch twist, they're always one inch pinch twists, unless I say otherwise. Now you are going to take this, make a small bubble, very small, I'd say half an inch, right there. You're going to connect it 
into this pinch twist. So you should have something that looks like this. You got your top rectangle, you got your front, I don't know, is that a trapezoid? Trapezoid? And then on the side, you have this coming down, small bubble that connects into this. Now you might be thinking here that you've got yourself, you know, trapped in a corner, literally, okay? But you're going to use a technique that you don't really see too much uh, in America. You see it a lot in Japan in their twisters. But all you have to do to get back to this pinch twist is squeeze the air out of the balloon as you move it over and just twist it back in. It's a very useful technique. It just doesn't get used enough around here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make a bubble the same size as this bubble, which is about three inches, maybe a little less. Pinch twist. And you're going to do that same uh, little bubble over to here and then squeeze it to get it back technique that I showed you earlier. So little bubble, half an inch, into the opposing pinch twist, and then squeeze it to get it back. I know that's a little confusing, but I think you got it. Order everything out so it makes sense. This is what you should have on the bottom now. Now, you're going to make another 3 inch one, the same as before, and you're going to connect it into the very last pinch twist that is still exposed. Right there. You should have something that looks a little bit like a little pirate's chest. Okay, I know that one, that this was a bit of a complicated roundabout, but I think, I think you're doing okay. Now we've got to make the lid. The lid is pretty much folded over to see how the lid would look. And then you just pinch the top right here. Don't twist it, just pinch it, because that's going to give you that curvature. You're going to make a twist right there. You're going to go across the same distance the lid would be. And then you're going to recreate that curve on the other side and link it into this pinch twist. So find it, make a curve, and twist it in. So that's what that'll look like right there. And you can get rid of the rest. All gone. Now if you'll pardon me a second, I'm going to reach my bag, get another 5 inch round. This one fell on the ground, it's all dirty. So let's see, da da da, da da. Here we are. These are going to be later. Now, this may seem like a lot of work, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for line work, but um, they make great table ornaments. Five inch round. You're going to go into your top rectangle. That's the first thing we made. You're going to stick it down in there, and then have the nozzle exposed and blow into it. Uh, basically blow into it until it stops. It will stop you. It'll just be like... So now you've got your, your, your round trapped inside there, tie it off. Ba -da -ba. Just like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your two uh, 160s in gold and silver, inflate them maybe about halfway, and you're just going to make bubbles. Just bubbles, 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 bubbles. Lots of bubbles. Okay, as many as you can get out of each one. And at the end, you should have something that looks like this. I wouldn't go over that because it would take too much time for me to just make these in front of you. So, start off with whichever color you like. Take it and connect it into one of the corners, the corner pinch twists. Actually, 
better idea. Give this first bubble a pinch twist and connect it into the nozzle of your 5 inch round. So now you should have something that looks like this. Now here's where it gets just almost unexplainable. You just kind of go crazy. Your goal is to fill up the treasure chest with treasure. So just bring this down, connect it into a pinch twist, wrap it back around, make like a cluster of three, and give that a twist, because that fills it in real nice. Okay, keep going. Just, just bring it around, wrap it in, As much as you want. Put them back in there. Bring it down into here. The more creative you get with this part, the better it ends up looking, to be honest. Don't be too structured. Live a little. Okay, one bubble here, one bubble here and I'll connect mine back into the original pinch twist. So, there you go. Here, I'll pop this up to the top. Now you're going to do the same thing with the gold. You're just going to go crazy with it, and you'll get something that looks nice, hopefully. Here, I'm going to hop back so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So, take that, take the first bubble, pinch twist it, Connect it to the first pinch twist you made in the the gold or the silver one. And now with the gold, you're just gonna fill out, out whatever places you didn't fill in with the silver. So cluster of three, wrap it around, bring it down to this corner, wrap it into the pinch twist, bring it down and across. Wrap it into this one. Oh yeah, this is starting to look real good, like treasure. Why didn't I film this at a beach? You know, pirate treasure on a beach? That would have been a better idea. Huh. Okay. Tie it in. Make any fixes. Like I said, this part is just total madness. And you should have something that looks like that. Looks like treasure is just pouring out. Now get your scrap. Just like this. Okay, this is a clear. Inflate it, pop it all the way down to the bottom. Make just a teeny, teeny bubble. These are going to be your precious gems. Tie that off, pull it through. So here's one. Bite off. You, you might want to keep this. In fact, here, take that right now and tie it in two opposing corners of the bottom. So there's your treasure, here's the bottom. Wrap that in there, then wrap it in over here. This makes uh, the pirate chest a bracelet, which is always nice. And just place your gems wherever you want. Take this, stuff it down into here, wrap it around a pinch twist if you want. It's all done. Here, I got another one. I got a, this is a ruby. It just adds that splash of color that it needs. And sapphire. And 
and an emerald, a little emerald. And here we have it. You have a pirate's chest bracelet. Organize everything, get it all straightened out. Pirate's chest bracelet um, for you to enjoy. Now, this can also work to hold down uh, helium balloons. If you take that round and you fill it with water, it'll just sit on a tabletop with the balloons coming out of it, you can do a real nice display. Comment, rate, subscribe if you have any questions. I know this one took a little while. Um, it's one of my longer videos. I hope you enjoyed. Keep at it.